Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the Deadman mode from when it started to where it is right now. And uh, we're gonna be taking a look at all the Deadman mode winners, my personal progression, and uh, just all sorts of cool, fun facts. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and enjoy the video. So I will do my best to keep this video as short and as interesting as possible since I have like 14 tournaments to go through. Um, but basically, it all began on March 2016. Obviously, the Deadman mode itself was out since like October 2015 but then the first tournament actually happened in uh, March 2016. Now I personally didn't play that tournament and that was the tournament where Fog just instantly murdered everyone in Falador so I was kind of happy that I didn't play that one uh, but then I decided to play the tournament after that one and uh, I've played every single tournament since. So in the first ever tournament the winner was actually you never learn Robert being second but the way they achieved the win was actually pretty much unknown as far as we all know they just tried to eat or maybe they stalled some interface because the fog was like dealing insane damage out healing the fog was basically impossible and a lot of people complained back then there was a lot of drama surrounding that three years ago um but either way you never learn was the winner of the first one and there's not much footage online where i could show you how things went because everything was just so chaotic but when it comes to all the tournaments from here on onwards i actually have my personal footage for it and we're gonna be able to you know take a look at my progression and how i first started what a noob I actually was and here you can see what gear and what items I actually decided to take to the final area I'm wearing a black dehyde body and legs rune full helm I'm thinking leather boots defender and like a dragon dagger for some reason I have a dragon longsword in my inventory teleport runes to Varrock some coins noted potatoes with bass and pizza like you can literally spot a definition of the biggest noob in the existence of runescape by just wa watching the screen right now uh, but the funny thing is this tournament was actually won by on codeine and he used a redemption prayer to keep himself alive from the fog damage now this will end up heavily influencing my decision what inventory setup to take for my next tournament because well i decided in my next tournament that i will take a lot of prayer potions to the final area and just try to do re redemption but uh, that comes in a little bit of a future as you can see I'm just looting stuff off the floor in this one and you know I'm not really very good at it and soon enough I will be falling to the fog as I don't have any more food now this tournament uh, was you know it was a, a stepping stone for me. I obviously had no idea what to expect. Uh, you can probably see that I really don't know how to play the game at this point. Um, but still, it was a very fun tournament to partake in and, you know, experience. Transitioning into the tournament number three that took place on 26th of September 2016, you can see that I decided to take a little bit of a different inventory to this one. As I mentioned earlier, I was heavily influenced by On Codeine, obviously still being a noob at the game. I didn't really know what I want to do in the multi. I only had melee stats, 52 prayer 77 HP and I decided that I'll give it a shot and you know see if I can maybe just out heal the fog by using um, you know the prayer uh, but I wasn't the only person that thought about that there was another player a very famous old school runescape player in fact that had the same idea but with his own twist this is a tournament where Wooks decided to use files in Remington and unnote his lobsters and crab ones to combo eat out of the fog's damage and he actually was officially the last person standing however the title of the winner of this tournament went to lol 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 which was um, a rots member but the winner of the ten thousand dollars is mr lol 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 congratulations mate congratulations to him uh not sure he's part of the even though wooks should win man so lol 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 was then officially proclaimed as the winner of that tournament but wooks was left empty-handed so obviously wooks wasn't happy with that and here comes modash himself and offers Wooks $10,000 out of his own pockets and Wooks obviously gladly accepts that offer as uh, many of us probably would simply because he thought that he was the winner and he deserves it right so um, also this was the tournament where a new meme was born and uh, well if you went to any of the twitch chats after that, st that tournament you already know that everything was spammed with Wooks 1. Moving on to tournament number four you know, I don't think I'd want to get a pet in Deadman mode because move. it goes what? to yeah, it yeah, goes. Bonk, hello? It goes after okay, a month, okay, okay. or in this case, one week, that's stupid. Your pet that's too much damage. <laughs> that's too much gone. damage. So, I'm just eating, have, and know, now I'm gonna that, die. That just shows the that's so retarded. That's so stupid. So the game so much that's so week, fucked, that's man. It. It's, it's Arguably one of the most controversial tournaments, simply because of the actual area where the final 
area was. Now, the area was Alcarid Palace, and the only way to enter Alcarid Palace was to go through a one by one spot or, well, to teleport with a charged glory. But the thing is, um, whoever the team had a positional advantage and was already inside the Alcarid Palace had such, an, such a massive lead over anyone uh, because all they need to do is just focus on one by one entrance. It is honestly really easy. But as if that was not enough, Jack has decided to, you know, up the power of the fog a little bit so people like Wooks wouldn't be able to out heal it and uh, well they might have murdered 75% of the population in just a couple of ticks and that was how I ended on that tournament as well. Now this was the first tournament where I actually went fairly hard at it. Uh, back in the day uh, the tournaments lasted for five days and I was actually the only person with a 99 defense cape. I didn't have ancients but I had 99 defense which was kind of huge back in the day but right now you know it's pretty much nothing. The winner of that tournament was uh, Rot Nico, and it took place in December 2016. What a final that was, Absolutely, Elia. absolutely, yeah. So, um, just uh, talk about quickly about what just happened there. So, as we I, saw, Rot saying, I think it was Rot, staying inside the Alcarid Palace, yeah, taking that on clan after clan. definitely the smartest move they could have done. Although it seemed like it was a risky str uh, strategy in that situation, they did stay inside there, they did use a lot of their supplies, they deplete depleted their resources, Whereas the team outside on the north eastern side, I believe, yeah. they managed to keep all of their supplies. Um, I'm but just surprised. when they come in, instantly barraged, yeah. instantly chinned. I was going to say, I'm decimated. so surprised. I, I honestly thought they'd be able to tank it. I thought they could get through the gap and spread out really quickly. <laughs> you were wrong. But no, the power of barrage and chin yeah. jumpers is just undefeatable, as, as Rot has shown again, yeah. as they have done previously. Tournament number 5 took place on March 20th, 2017 and the winner was none other than Dead Bonding himself, the leader of Lit. Uh, for this tournament I was once again playing alone and I got myself 99 defense. Uh, for some reason back in the day I thought that 99 defense was just the best 99 to get. Once again I did not have ancients and I was not in the team. I just had the full inventory of brews, a ranged weapon and that's it, that's all I had. My idea was to just try and tank it through the multi, however in this one I just uh, I, I, I decided that the good idea for some reason was to run right into the middle of a team with a DFS and full tank and obviously I just got insta killed uh, I don't know what I was thinking but um, that's how I died on the tournament number five um, all right, as a stuck, as a stuck, as a stuck to the north, to the north, to the north, right inside of us, to the north. To go fast, to go fast. As a stuck, as a stuck, as a stuck, right to the north, right to the north, right now, right to the north. Wait, oh, there's a guy. What everyone the fuck? Everyone just got one hit. Everyone just got one hit. Everyone just got one hit. I, I think I won. Yeah, I had 28 kills. I had 28 kills. I think I won. Woo! Let's no go. Way. I think I won. Watch nice. stream. Watch stream. Watch stream. Who won? Who won? We're watching. We're watching. Link me stream. It's, I think it's Axel. Yeah, they're they're gonna announcing it. To announce Matt, let me know. Matt, let me know when you're at the bridge. Dead man. Bring invitation. Hold on. Oh. As it did come Hold on, down please. To the player with the most kills at the end. Dude. Whilst also staying alive. The winner is. Dude, please. A member of the team. Yo, what were we in that third bridge? Hold on. Yes! Yes! Oh. yes! Oh my god! We won! We won 10k! We won 10k! We won 10k! Let's get it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh. Let's go! 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 Barrage the center, stay along the fucking edges. And barrage the center. Get inside, get inside, get inside, Alright, everybody get inside, everybody get inside along the north, north along the uh, southwest side. Everybody get, get inside along the southwest side. Get in the 10 by 10. Get in the 9 by 9 or you're fucking cleared. Get in the 9 by 9, get in the 9 by 9, get in the 9 by 9, get in the 9 by 9. Right now, stay on the north, stay on the southwest side, stay on the southwest side. Southwest. Stay on the southwest side, guys. Stay on the southwest side and just barrage. Just barrage. Keep the team kicked I died insta killed, what? No, I wasn't in the center. Okay, everyone's dead, it's not in the 9 by 9. Now, everyone's dead, it's not in the 9 by 9. What? That was bullshit, Such we couldn't lag. even click. And once again, I died very stupidly. This time, once again, it was my own mistake by stepping one tile to south. At uh, the exact time the timer hit zero, caused me to once again die. Now in that tournament, I actually practiced PKing and I had 94 magic. Uh, but that tournament, uh, the winner ended up being Anonymous, which was a ROT member. So that took place on 26th of June 2017. 
fast forward three months and we are in September uh, 2017 and uh, I have almost fully maxed account ready to pop off. Uh, Jagex announced that there's gonna be four islands. I'm in a big clan. I'm in lit. I'm popping off. I'm kind of smurfing. Uh, I have literally everything I could possibly ask for, right? I have my melee, I have my magic, have six stats. And, uh, you know, you are thinking what could possibly b go wrong. And then you realize that this happens. Holy. The lag, dude! How am I supposed to do anything? I can look at this! Look at this, man! That tournament ended up going towards True Fox. He was the winner because of a lot of disqualifications and all sorts of things. Once again, that one was full of drama because a full elite island, actually all of them just got instantly killed. And then uh, b basically a lot of shit was going down in that tournament, aside from obviously half of the population just not being able to eat. And uh, yeah, that was one of those bad tournaments. But after this, you'd think I would quit. Uh, but I didn't, I kept going, and let's see what happened in the next one. The very next tournament took place on 4th of December 2017, and it was the very first tournament where Jagex actually decided to end it all in 1v1s. So when I heard that information, I put all my research into practicing and learning how to PK. By no means I was a good PKer, but, you know, learning the basics, combining that with the fact that I only slept like 3-4 to four hours every day, and I managed to completely max my account, get 99 in all stats and 70 a prayer, and I made it pretty far in that tournament. Fight so far, dominating. Is that a name familiar to you, or is it? Oh my gosh! Wait, thing? has Nika run out of prayer? He's run out of prayer. And he's got no food left now as well. Can he finish the fight off? The Peenek just broke, healed him off just a little bit. Is it enough to, to guarantee this win for him? The other guy's got Peenek too. Well, break any back second again. now. Food's back up. Oh, he's go. got prayer. Is he trying to prayer flick or is he just not, not putting it up right now? I'm not too sure about that. I mean, he just lost the last bit of it. He needs to do something special here because if he doesn't... Here we see again. He's barraged in and watch as soon as he casts yeah, it back into his defensive tank. gear. Look at that. He makes sure that he's not susceptible to any big attacks from uh, either melee or range. Which is obviously completely paramount in these situations. Poison oh, damage will him down. So one thing we didn't do actually is give him any way. Oh my to gosh, the Phoenix as well broke one more time. How many Phoenix does he have? What? That's like the third one that's broken, not Cow Slayer, but Mika actually has brought so many Phoenix. Probably from the last fight, he might have picked a few up. Uh, obviously, Phoenix, like I said before, once you get down to 20 HP, it does break and does heal you and absorb some damage, which is really crucial in these last few moments. Uh, but Cow Slayer tanking like an absolute beast, still holding on as best as he can. The 0 0 prey range. Unlucky for Mika. Can he win it? Can he come? back he only has one peanut left if a guy seems to be out of food oh it's so close i don't know, I don't know how to call it guys i, I think uh, i think um i need to get a right click because the guy on the left has the has the prayer advantage yeah of course meek has another peanut that's the fourth wow, peanut he's had Cal wow Slayer should win regardless though cow slayer should win this no Whoa, with that vault spec i won oh, oh, i won oh, oh my god, god. He's i was out of everything i was out of everything huh? And that is to this day the favorite fight I've ever had in Deadman mode. Uh, the fact that I managed to clutch that that one, not to mention that I stole this guy's Phoenix necklaces because he accidentally dropped them. Uh, that alongside with all the commentaries from Ian and Skiddler just made this clip so special for me. I cherish it to this day. It was my favorite clip. I ended up going down in the next round, but the person I went down to was later on disqualified, meaning that instead of just 1k for fourth place, I actually ended up getting $6,000 uh, as a split for a second place, so I was extremely happy. The fact that Goofy got disqualified meant that Manx took the winning position and took home $20,000. Once again, fast forward three more months and we are now in March 2018. And this time around, I actually lost versus the guy that ended up winning the whole thing again. Now, this tournament was a special one because it introduced us the Varak tank meta. It was actually insanely strong to the point where Jagex decided to remove Varak flail the very next tournament. Uh, here is how that tournament went. Oh, I'm so, I'm 
so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna relax. My bad. <clears throat> Fuck, I smashed my shit. I have full inventory of food, my friend. and Mika got an opportunity to KO uh, 9464. Unfortunately, he, uh, he hit huge, then went straight in for the barrage. The barrage hit a zero. And obviously we can see now that 9464's brew dose is completely gone. He's out of food. Mika is also out of food. And that's where experience really this comes into this. I've seen, I've seen Mika being very consistent with his switches and, and taking the kill there right to take away. it home. He was staying yes, so cool guys, I did it. Any yes, one game again, advantage. baby. So he's been in this before. He's had the experience. He knows exactly what he's doing. And right here, 122 combo versus 120. Yeah, I think I'm going down here, chat. Um, if I... Did I add anything? Nah, I was fourth though. He had, uh, I got hit some really high numbers with Varax. Uh, again, fourth place. I can't be happy with this. Actually, you know what, guys? The person that just beat me was in fools, so fools took home $20,000 in that tournament. And then the very next tournament after that, I was unfortunately DDoS attacked. So that was the only tournament where I was DDoS attacked and then I couldn't participate, unfortunately. Um, so kind of salty way to go about it, but it learned me a valuable lesson in life. You know, it learned me how to protect myself on the internet. So I just took it as a learning experience. Even though I had the best gear, Eternal Boots, literally DFS, uh, Occult Necklace, I had absolute max that, that tournament. Oh, uh, try not to back in, try not to back in. Yep. Um, Am I back, boys? I'm still getting DDoS. I'm still DDoS. I can't even do it. Where are you guys? No, yeah, now they stopped. The winner of this one was DMM Freak Show, member of Lit, and it took place on 23rd of June 2018. The very next tournament that took place in September 2018 uh, showed us the introduction of new PvP weapons and obviously everyone was a little bit confused what certain PvP weapons do and which ones are the best to use and I was one of the only people that had all three PvP weapons but I did a mistake, I took all three of them into the 1v1s and instead of just using the highly overpowered VLS for some reason my mind thought that using a Statues Warhammer spec is smarter which caused me to lose but that wasn't the only reason uh, the person I lost to was also insanely good I think it was 07 Riz another Blazers member and uh, I lost fair and square so uh, there's that the winner of that one actually was Fools Justice I believe and he is well member of Fools wait is that it? I didn't even use one foot good fight dude I need this freeze. Damn. He was too good, man. Good fight. Hey, boys. I'm not disappointed, dude. We made it pretty far. This guy had a better gear. Here is one of the coolest VLS skills I have seen in a while. Oh my god, I'm going to get you! I'm going to get you! I'm going to get you! I'm going to get the very next one took place in December 2018, and the winner this time around was Waina, or 
something like that. I don't know how to say his name. Um, I unfortunately dropped two fools in the multi aspect of the game, so I didn't make it 1v1s in this one. But why not is a member of a frontline, if I am not mistaken. The next one is tournament number 13, uh, once again a very big Jagex fuck up which was probably also the reason why Deadman mode is going on a pause right now and well in that one I got speared out of, outside of a safe zone and uh, well got killed once again by fools and the winner of that one was Eomeri uh, but because of the Jagex fuck up uh, there was a rerun and then the winner of a rerun was Bellis so uh, tournament number 13 has two winners Eomeri and Bellis uh, Eomeri coming from full uh, from fools and bellies from blazers and if you don't know what i'm talking about when it comes to jagex fuck up well here have a clip what oh and after that tournament there was only one left jagex announced that this will be the last dead animal tournament for a while and I decided that I'm gonna give it my all and, you know, go all out, play as much as I can and do the best as I possibly can. Now, there is no place at the end of this video to, you know, put all of the clips. But if you want, feel free to check either an entire week or just an ending of the Dead Mineral Tournament number 14. Uh, I will leave the links either on the screen right now or in the description. That tournament was insane. With that being said, I really hope you guys did enjoy this massive video. Also, the winner of the Dead Mineral Tournament 14 was manked and I was fifth. Uh, but I still recommend you to watch that video because it is my favorite video to date and uh, yeah, I really hope this video was enjoyable. It is a very long one, so much information on so many places to take care of. I went through literally my entire YouTube channel's history to find the clips for this video, so I really, really do hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did, a simple like would go a really long way. With that being said, I'll see you again tomorrow with a new series. We will be starting a World 45 Deadman Mode C series and we will revive Deadman Mode. With that being said, I'll leave you here. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you very soon with World 